What's going on, everybody? This is AZ Sports Cards back at it. Last weekend, when I was in Buffalo, I went to a card shop called Great Lakes Sports. It was located in the Eastern Hills Mall, and I'm going to take you guys there right now. There's the top chrome. I'm gonna buy those singles I pulled over there. Huh? And that's a great Pokemon sign. That was 3D printed by my buddy. Really? Yeah. And you just thread the lights and the cords through it? What's it? Uh, they're, uh, I'd love to like learn it, but I feel like I want to break it. I don't think there would be anything I'd be printing. I don't know what I would need. Exactly. Yeah. And he goes and makes stuff like this. He makes new ones. Oh yeah. Yeah, the Dolphins one. Fight in the glare. Oh, I picked. I, know. I picked up a. Was that Matt Milano? Yeah. I picked. He did a really good year, uh, job this year, so I picked up his rookie stuff. Yeah, this doesn't have a lot. Who? No, Matt Milano. He has a rookie ticket auto for the Tigers. He has a college. Uh, it might be Chronicles or the Tigers. I can't remember. Or it might be Prison Draft. Well, that's the only two like autographs of that model has. Like, how like, expensive are they? Uh, hundred bucks. Thereabouts. I'm a sucker for a good dollar section. You know what? That's one thing that's missing from a lot of shops around here. Mm hmm So that's why it was imperative that I have one. It's not perfect, it's gonna be better. All right, so that was the shop. I ended up getting some singles. Let's take a look at what I brought home. Uh, some really nice deals. They had a good dollar bin, five dollar bin, and so on, and prices marked. Uh, the cards in the showcase, as you saw, were cool. Uh, this is their logo. I think you'll recognize it from the thumbnail. Uh, that's their number if you want to call them to see if they have anything. That's also their social media links. So I think you guys can take a little snapshot of that right now and check out their stuff. So really nice shop, Great Lakes Sports in Williamsville. Uh, we also got a couple stickers. I'm gonna add these to my trade cases just so I have them there. I like collecting stickers from shops when they have them. Makes my trade box look a little more uh, traveled. So let's take a look at all the cards I've got. Uh, we're going to start, I didn't sort them or anything, I'm sorting them right now. I'm going to sort them by prices from the lowest to the highest. I think that makes sense to me right now. I should have done it off camera, but what are you going to do? Alright, so here's my stack of cards. I'll pull them off the side. So, turn off for that, the $2 bin, we have an Evan Neal Silver from um, Refractor from Optic. Very nice. 
I'm a sucker for Giants players, so I tend to always try to get some Giants stuff. That's my favorite team, and that's a cool looking card. I didn't open up any Optic this year, so it's cool to get some stuff in. We have a Rashawn Slater. Lineman for the Chargers. This is numbered at $2.99 for $2. bucks. i will take that. Really good lineman. You know, if you've watched our videos for a while, we like weird positions like linemen, tight ends, kickers, um, anything defense. So that was a cool find there for 2 bucks. Uh, we have another numbered card, Devin Lloyd. So last year was his rookie year, and he started off hot. I mean, he was having a great defensive rookie season. Uh, so I thought... $3 for this numbered card. This is awesome. Uh, this is from Elite. Numbered out of $999. So really cool card there for 3 bucks. Now we're getting to the $5 realm. Only a couple cards here. I did get this uh, Kayvon Thibodeau. Season's Greetings from Prestige. I love these inserts. I thought these inserts were very cool. I think I don't know if I had this one already, but they're just they're just really nice and appealing to me so i can't wait till uh, prestige comes out again this year and see how their new inserts look because these are one of my favorites next one this next one was a little risk uh not a huge risk but there was some marvin mims chronicles cards so this isn't the only one they had they had one out of 75 i think they had one out of 59 and this was out of 49 uh, this is from chronicles draft picks so we have a Marvin Mims at a 49 here. I think he got drafted to the Broncos. And I saw him on social media as uh, the Broncos organization really liked him. So I thought I'd take a risk for 5 bucks. Maybe he pans out. Maybe he doesn't. I'll have to wait till the season roll around to see if I lost money there. Uh, but these next cards, it was very hard to lose any money because they were, they were pretty good. We have a Kawhi Leonard rookie card. This is nice. This is from just Panini. Yep, 2012, 2013. Really cool. Nice to get a quiet rookie. Some of his earlier rookies are, I think, an SP Authentic when he's in his college jersey, but that is considered an official rookie card. Uh, we have a nice Julio Rodriguez from Stadium Club. Did not have this one because I didn't open up a Stadium Club. I am liking better just go get these singles out and about than open the products, uh, especially in my area because my Walmart doesn't really stock that much cards. I have to go all the way up to Elmira just to get anything cool. But not bad, not bad. I like uh, Julio Rodriguez a lot. This is a nice find. Buster Posey rookie card. So I did not have this one. I had his regular tops, but I did not have the upper deck. And I've seen these go for about, you know, 10, 15 bucks at card shows. So to get this for six bucks is pretty good. Yeah, that's a nice looking card. There, there's a couple of these cards there. So if you're interested in Buster Posey stuff. Some of those guys from the early 2010s don't, uh, I mean, you can get those for pretty good deals because people nowadays think about, you know, that was over 10 years ago. So people forget about how good those players were. And our last card for eight bucks, the highest card we got in the video. There's some nicer cards in there. I could have spent a lot more money, but I was just looking to get some footage. Um, but this is a nice Kawhi Leonard from, I think, Panini, was it? I can't pronounce it. Marquis. Nini Marquis. So, that's a nice rookie. Don't have a lot of Kawhi Leonard rookie cards. But this was just a nicer one that I saw that I was going to take. Uh, there's some other stuff that I put away too. I think there was a nice Damian Lillard one that was a little overpriced. But, not bad. Not bad for our little trip. Anyways, that was the Great Lakes Sports Card Shop. Go check them out. Transit Mall. Uh, got some good deals. But anyways, that is it for today. Thank you all for watching. This has been AZ Sports Cards, and I will see you all next time.